Hey everybody, hi ladies. It's probably been some time since you all see me and I decided to take um, a vlogging, TTC vlogging break because of my fear of being cursed <laughs> as I said on my last vlog. But I'm looking at myself y'all because I'm my hair a mess. But anyway, hey y'all, I miss y'all. But anyways, um, from the last vlog, I told you that um, the HSG hurt like hell, and it did. But since the HSG examination, obviously, there was some blockage somewhere because I am pregnant. Woo -woo 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 -woo. <laughs> the HSG blew open my tools, and I got pregnant the next week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pregnant. Yay. Thank you. I'm due August 6th. Um, today is, I am 14 DPO. And my tests are getting darker and darker every day. My temperature is staying high. And I went to my RE today to have draw, blood drawn for them to confirm. And to do, I guess, to see what the beta numbers are. So I am happy. I'm excited. Uh you know, I'm sorry I just didn't tell y'all as soon because I was really spooked, you know, how I felt about, you know, the continual, continuous miscarriages. I mean, if you had more than, if you had a miscarriage, you, you know, and you keep having them and keep having them, it's something that becomes, you know, it goes from being a celebration to a fear. And um, I'm fearful right now, but I'm prayer, prayerful. So I know that. It is baby season right now, and I do believe that people are blessed in seasons. Things are comes in seasons because there's several people that's getting BFPs on here as I speak. I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, she has one, she has one, she has one. Now me and then my couple of my cousins, my niece. I mean, so it's like a, a large number of people that's getting pregnant right now. At first, the baby boom was earlier this year, like in April. But now is now, so I thank the Lord for including me in this baby boom. So, but um, hopefully this baby stick. I'm not gonna post this vlog no time soon, so I'm sorry. But y'all, I just gotta be sure, and I just don't want to disappoint myself, and I don't want to jump the gun and stuff like that. But I have to include you all, but just not right now. Just let me get to week ten, and then. I will make an announcement and y'all will see this video. So today is November the 26th. And the first test I took was the little cheapy. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that line? See how vague it is? You can see it though. And the line was so vague that, oh, you know what? That's not even the first line. Yes, it is. That's not the first one. That's the second one. So I took that one and then, um, I was going to throw the damn test in the garbage, right? So I saw it. I took the test and it was, you know, only take three minutes or something. So I saw the test and I was like, uh, oh, well, it's negative because I did it on 10 DPO. So I took the test and I was throwing it in the garbage. And as I was throwing it in the garbage, I was looking at it and I got into another angle. And I seen that little vague line. I was like, hell to the law, for real? So... I looked at the little line and I said, damn, this is actually, it looked like I see something. So then I closed my eyes and I said, uh, let me look again. And I look and I'm booking my eyes and I'm like, oh, my eyelashes got some glue on them. <laughs> I'm like, is there some glue still on my eyelashes? And I'm seeing something. So I kept looking at it and I go like that and I put it in the light and I put it on some white and it was a line. And Lord, as the day went on, that thing got a little darker. So that's okay. Took another one. Saw the line. Next day, took another one. Saw the line. Here's another one I took. This is the one I took today. If you can see that. Hold on. Don't play, y'all. Y'all can see that line. Look at that line, baby. So that's the one I took this morning. And then I went and bought some cheap ones from Walmart for 88 cents. You see that two lines, y'all? Yeah. So I took another one of those. I'm just blowing these tests out because I'm in disbelief order. That's another one I took. So look, y'all. Look at this. This is a hot mess. I have all of these tests. 
<laughs> I have all of these tests. I just been taking them every ten minutes. It's just I'm in disbelief. I'm happy. I just I'm so happy. So that's about it. To like I said, today is November twenty sixth, and I will um keep you updated. And I'm happy and. I hope my, um, what you call them come back good, the beta stuff. I'm not going to worry about it. I've been taking vitamins. And guess what? I, I got pregnant, pregnant on this, um, cycle. Medicated. No, now no medications, no vitamins, no baby aspirin, no nothing. But what I didn't tell you is the cycle before I did the HSG, I took Clomid. I took, uh, 100 milligrams of Clomid because I had a prescription left from earlier this year. So I was like, hell, let me just take this just for the hell of it. So I didn't get pregnant on that cycle. So then I, after I, that cycle, that's what made me get the HSG because I'm like, I'm still not getting pregnant. It's something. So that's when I decided to do the HSG. And the HSG hurt like hell. But thank God for the HSG because I got pregnant right after it. I guess it blew my tools open and our little cells got together and, and start hustling. To the left, to the right, to the right. Now keep down implanting your mama. <laughs> but anyway, y'all gotta know that hustle. If you don't know the hustle, find it. Everybody knows the hustle. But anyway, so that's what happened. No drugs, no, no nothing on the cycle. Um, just you know, and I actually got so disappointed in this cycle as I was giving up. I started looking into IVF and how much that would cost. I started making phone calls. And I was just like, forget it. I'm just tired of this. I'll be 40 in July. I just don't want to have to keep going through this. And I was about to give up, y'all. This is like, I'm just at the end of my roast. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what is what is this? You know? So then I started charting this cycle. Well, I've been charting, but I was I charting this every day. This cycle, after cycle day 12, I started charting. And my chart was going haywire. It was it, it was real low. Then it dipped up. It went up, but it wasn't high like how it was with my daughter. And I was like, "Up, oh, this ain't no good cycle." So I just like forget it. But I took the test just to take the test. Like I was like, "Let me take a test just to see." Because oh, this is what I'm gonna tell y'all. Every cycle, I have pregnancy symptoms, right? Every cycle, my boobs are sore. Sometimes I feel nauseous. Sometimes I just feel pregnant. I had that, that acid reflux and I feel pregnant, right? Well, this this cycle, I had no symptoms. None. Not L1. L1. Nothing. So I knew it. I was like, you know what? I ain't got no symptoms. So that means I'm not about to come on. I said, I'm about to come on. I mean, I, I am praying this time. I'm not about to come on. I, could, I felt like I feel like I'm not coming on. So, sure and behold, that's what it was. I, that's what made me take the test. I just remember that is what made me take the test because I had no A of symptoms. So I've been taking tests every day, y'all, and it's getting darker and darker and darker. And then the blood test to tell everything. I get the results back tomorrow, and I'll keep you all updated. And this is going to be a delayed video, but I still love you guys. I'm just a little scared. That's all, and I don't want to be disappointed. And I don't want to disappoint y'all. And I don't want to be on here celebrating for something that it ain't going to be. So I'm scared. So please forgive me for posting this. I'm probably post this video. Hell, probably in January. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, though. I'm going to just try to try to keep the faith. And um, I want to say thanks to all of my subscribers. I got so many. I'm shit past 200. I got a lot of new subscribers. And everybody seems so sweet. Gosh. I'm like, hello, ladies. Just coming to you on 14 DPO and I have a little quick update I actually got my blood test results back today I took them at 13 DPO and the results were positive for a little baby so it's a little baby growing in my belly and it, um, today is November the 27th so, yes, I am having a baby. Hopefully, matter of fact, I'm going to claim it this time. My baby is going to stay this time. My beta was 70. They want me to come back. Uh, today is Tuesday. They want me to come back Friday to do another beta, which I don't want to get into doing betas, but it is what it is. It is a fertility specialist, so he's doing things a little differently. 
Uh oh. So he's doing things a little differently this time. Um, then versus my OBGYN, she didn't do all of this when I was 34 and I had my daughter. So today, once they called me to say congratulations, that it is a seemed to be a good pregnancy. All my hormone levels came back excellent. They said the beta was the number for to be 13 DPO, 14 DPO. Well, they took it at 13 DPO. For it to be seven, they said that's a very strong number. Yay! Thank you, Lord. And um, so I go back Friday, like I was saying. And after that, they gave me he they instructed me to take a baby aspirin every day, which I hadn't been doing because I took like I said this one was completely drug free. This um this conception. Um, and they gave me some progesterone inserts. I heard they were messy from all the girls on YouTube, but whatever it takes to hold a little baby or to thicken my uterus uh, lining so that the baby can stay, then whatever is necessary, I will start taking those tonight. You have to take two every day. Um, they told me to soak them in cool water first to soften them and then put them in. Then they're going to melt out, and then the chemical is what stays. It melts, but the chemical stays. So. I hope this don't mess up my sex life. Because <laughs> y'all know that was the next question. I was like, so, can I have sex? You know, but they was like, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be any problems. Just not, you know, or <laughs> don't want him to get sick. <laughs> but anyways, I am ecstatic. I'm nervous. I'm happy. And um, we gonna, I'm just going to, you know, pray to the Lord and ask him to, to you know, let me keep this child and um so at this point that's it lady i just wanted to come up here and do a quick update on 14 dpo i did one yesterday at 13 dpo so this is my 14 dpo vlog and i will keep you updated i promise matter of fact i'm gonna add this on to my last excuse me vlog when i was um telling you all that i just found out that the tests were positive so. oh i have one more thing Okay, I did take another pregnancy test, and even though the blood came back, but you can see the, uh-oh, hold on. Wait a minute, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, you can see how dark the pregnancy test had gotten. It got really dark. Yeah, so, and that's a two days old. I mean, that was sitting there since yesterday, so. And y'all see behind me, you know, I have my, uh, my thermostat stuck in the bed because I take two different ones because, sorry for all the shaking, because, um, one of them is always three notches lower than the other one, so I do both. So that's it, y'all, um, and baby dust to everybody, and fingers crossed. Bye, ladies.